uh, ukaona support and resistance kwenye strategy tofauti tofauti lakini zikawa zina majina mengine wengine wanatumia supply and demand zone majina tofauti tofauti lakini mwisho wa siku zote ni support and resistance so katika support and resistance leo tutaangalia vitu gani uh, leo tutaangalia vitu vitatu tu vya muhimu kabisa nataka baada ya somo hili uwe practical uweze kufungua chat zako ukaona support and resistance na uka apply so tutakuwa more technical kuliko theoretical kwa hiyo coverage yetu ya leo ni kujua what is support and resistance ah uh, hiyo ni part 1 part 2 tutaangalia the proper way to draw support and resistance ni tutaangalia where support and resistance uh, ina chambusi Hello. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Okay, tuendelee. So tutaangalia coverage nne. Hivyo vitu vinne ni vitu muhimu sana katika kufahamu support and resistance and na kuhakikishia kwamba baada ya somo hili la leo utakuwa na confidence kubwa sana utakapokuwa unatazama chat zako na kama utakuwa umeanza kufanya trading. So twende moja kwa moja kuelewa what is support and resistance. Tuko sawa sawa guys. Yes. Okay. So what is support and resistance? Tuanze kwanza ku discuss about support. Sawa? Support tunasema Uh, sorry guys kidogo Okay support ni sehemu ambayo eh, price yetu imeteremka lakini inakutana na inakutana na eh, demand kubwa sana ambayo ita force price yetu iendelee So support ni sehemu ambayo price itashindwa ita kuendelea na trend yake itashindwa kwenda against the trend itaendelea na itaendelea katika trend iliyopo kwa mfano mfupi support ni nini eh, ili kuweza kuelewa vizuri support tufanye kitu kimoja Eh, tuangalie kitu kinachoitwa market trend. Sasa ili uweze ku trade properly lazima ufahamu vitu vitatu. Eh, ufahamu market trend Okay. So soko la forex lina lina movement tatu. Nitatumia Kiswahili zaidi na lugha nyepesi kabisa ili muweze kuelewa. Lina movement za aina tatu. Kuna moja inaitwa uptrend. Hii ni pale ambapo umefungua chart yako unaona ile price inapanda juu inaitwa uptrend movement ya pili inaitwa down trend sawa movement ya tatu inaitwa sideway sideway so ili kuweza kujua support and resistance lazima kwanza uelewe movement tatu za soko ambalo ni uptrend, downtrend na sideway. Tuko sawa sawa? Sasa. What is uptrend? Hello. Hello. 
Guys, number. Kuna mtu anaongea naomba apunguze sauti kidogo. Apunguze sauti kidogo. Okay. Uh, let's discuss about uptrend. Uptrend ni nini? Uptrend ni pale ambapo ukifungua chart zako chart yako utaona price ina move like this. Price in a move like this. Guys, tuko sawa sawa? Yes. Hii uptrend ukifungua chart yako tutakwenda kuona live chart zinafananaje but sahihi tuangalie theoretical kwanza. Ah uh, guys kuna mtu anabembeleza mtoto naomba apunguze sauti afadhali au a mute mic yake. Hello. Naomba anebebeleza mtoto a mute sauti. Okay. So uptrend uptrend ni pale ambapo ukifungua chart yako unaona price ina move like this. Yaani inapanda na kushuka, inapanda na kushuka, inapanda na kushuka. Hii tunaita ni uptrend. Kwa hiyo eh, uptrend kwa macho ya kawaida kabisa sio lazima utumie calculate chain flan. Uh -uh. ukifungua tu chart yako bila hata kuuliza chochote lazima uone zile prices zinapanda juu like this like this itaendelea kupanda juu kama hivi kwa hiyo hii tunaita ni uptrend so price yako itakuwa ina mwelekeo wa kwenda juu yani katika macho ya kawaida and what is a downtrend What is downtrend? Downtrend ni pale ambapo price yako inashuka na kupanda like this. Guys. This is very important. This is very very important. Ni very simple but it is very important. So, downtrend ni pale ambapo price yako ina move like this katika macho ya kawaida kabisa inapanda na kushuka tutakwenda kufungua live chat tutaona sawa guys so price yako itakuwa ina move like this hii tunaita ni down trend inakwenda chini kwa hiyo macho yako kabisa ya kibinadamu yatakuwa yaone kwamba eh, prices zinashuka chini and what is what is sideway kwa tumeshaona what is up trend Koje tumeshaona watu is downtrend. So let's talk about sideway. What is sideway? Sideway ni pale ambapo ukifungua chart yako haipandi juu wala haishuki chini. Lakini inakwenda zigzag. inapanda na kushuka like this. Tutakwenda kuona mifano halisi kabisa. Lakini this is a simple is a very simple structure ya nini? Ya ya price movement. So utaona eh, chart yako inakwenda zigzag, haiendi juu wala haishuki chini. Hii tunaita ni eh, sideways uh, market au sideways trend. So inaweza ikaendelea huku au pia ni zikawa imetoka ni zikawa imetoka chini pia like this so inaweza ikatoka kama hivi ikapata na kushuka au ikawa imegeuka ikaendelea chini ikiwa imetokea ikiwa imetokea juu tutakwenda kwenye maswali na majibu itakuwa mtaweza kuuliza maswali pia au kama una swali unaweza ukashoot ili tuka tukaenda sawa sawa. 
So uptrend is when the price goes up, downtrend is when the price goes down, and sideways market is when the price goes into, into zigzag. So let's get back to the uptrend. Uptrend, okay, what, what is uptrend, by the way? What is uptrend? Uptrend is when the market is forming higher highs, higher highs and higher lows. So guys, so we can talk about define what is uptrend. Lazima uone higher highs and higher lows. What do we mean? Tunakosema higher highs and higher lows. Sasa, higher highs, tunasema higher, kwa sababu market yetu inaendelea juu. So, it has to be high in any case. So, higher highs ni hizi sehemu. Ni hizi sehemu tunazita higher highs. So guys, na mna nipata. So, hizi same sta ito higher highs. Yoyote ilioko yu. Kampu kwenye higher highs and zero nis. Okay. Tunapo sema uptrend is nini pali ambapo tunawana price yetu inapanda yu. Sindi yo? Yani ukifungua chat yako, unawana price inapanda yu. Sama saa. Sasa, uptrend manake ni, ni pale ambapo unaweza uka, uka tambua higher highs and higher lows. Yani higher highs ni zile peak incha za juu kabisa za price. Kwa sababu price haipandi juu kama mshale. Inapanda katika muundo wa zigi zaga. Sindiyo? Sasa, inapopanda katika muundo wa zigi zaga. Ile zigi zaga ya juu, ile kona ile incha ya juu, inaitua higher high. Ile incha ya chini, inaitua higher low. Sawa, ikipanda juu tena inaitwa higher high, ikishuka inakuwa inaitwa higher low, ikipanda juu inakuwa inakuwa higher high, inakuwa higher low. So the price goes like that. Sawa? So any peak ambayo utaiona kwenye trending yako inaitwa higher high. Na any peak and any any low yote ambayo itakuwa chini Sorry guys, okay. So any any low itaitwa lower lows. Sawa? Kwa hii ndio jinsi ya kutambua the uptrend. Lakini mwisho siku ukicheck hiyo zigizaga yako lazima ielekee juu, si ndio? Na uptrend lazima iwe kwamba Ile peak ya kwanza ikae hapo lakini peak inayofuatia juu yake lazima iwe juu ya ile peak ya chini yake na peak inayofuatia juu yake lazima iwe juu ya the previous peak unaelewa also katika lower low So, na katika lower low, I mean higher lows, lazima ile peak inayofuatia, ile low, ile higher low inayofuatia iwe juu ya mwenzake chini ya, iwe juu ya ile previous one, and the next 
in alpha chair. So this is how to identify higher highs and higher lows. Tuko sawa sawa guys, paka hapo. Any questions so far? Any so any questions so far? <sighs> Okay, so um, so let's go to the to the downtrend. What is downtrend, guys? Akisha unaelewa. Ah, uh, content So what is downtrend? What is downtrend? It's when the market forms lower highs and lower lows. Guys, tuko sawa sawa mpaka hapo. So, tunamaanisha nini? Lower lows and uh, lower highs and lower lows. Ni pale ambapo tunaweza tukaona movement like that. Tunaona kwamba kuna peak. Tunaona kama kabisa kama price yetu inateremka chini. Inashuka chini. Alafu peak inayofuatia inakuwa chini ya ile ya kwanza na peak inayofuatia inakuwa chini ya ile ya juu yake. So hii inaitwa lower highs lower highs ni, ni 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 high ni high sawa uh, la, lakini ni low kwa sababu we keep going downward lakini ni ni high kwa sababu it iko juu ya mwenzake so also applied to inaanza uh, fuatia chini yake like this so Downtrend is when you identify lower highs and lower lows, guys. Sawa, sawa. So the price itakuwa inaendelea kushuka kama inavele, inavendelea. Sasa, so hii inaitwa ni downtrend. Sasa, what is sideways? sideways market Guys ninafunisha katika very simple term ili muwe practical zaidi yani kufungua two chart you can apply the knowledge So mtanisamea kidogo kwa kama ni Kiingereza kama ni spelling typing error sijali cha muhimu nimeelewa Sasa sideways market ni ile market ambayo hatuoni uptrend wala hatuoni downtrend kwamba hakuna higher highs kama hivi hakuna higher highs and higher lows lakini pia hakuna lower lows lower highs and lower and lower lows guys tuko sawa sawa so sideways market ni pale ambapo Ukijaribu kutafuta higher highs and high higher lows kila unayoiona inalingana na mwenzake yani iko straight straight line Sawa guys
like this one yani huoni huoni yoyote ambayo yuko juu ya mwenzake au yuko chini ya mwenzake zote zote zipo katika straight line hizi ndio inaitwa sideway market so maana yake ni nini ni kwamba ili uweze ku trade unapoona mtu ka buy au ka sell ame make a lot of profit whatsoever ni kwamba katika analysis yake ameangalia hivi vitu vitatu ameangalia ame identify uptrend ame identify downtrend au ame identify the sideways market sawa so guys chukua hiyo sasa chochote ambacho utakapokuwa umefungua chart yako ukishindwa kutambua trend za namna tatu uptrend downtrend na sideways market maana yake hapo itakupa wakati mgumu sana kuweza kufanya maamuzi ya kubai au kusikia. Tuko sawa sawa? Kwa hiyo unapokuwa unafanya analysis yako, hakikisha kabisa unaweza kutambua kabisa kwamba je, hiyo ni sideways market au ni down trend market au ni up trend market. Sawa sawa guys? Kwa hiyo tutakwenda kuona tutakwenda kuona the tutakwenda kuona the the, the practical chart. Okay. Sasa kwa nini ninasema lazima uweze kutambua hizi trend uh, market movement tatu uh, up trend, down trend na down trend kwa sababu kuna kuna kitu kinachoitwa choppy market market inakuwa very choppy market kwa very choppy ni market ambayo haieleweki inakwenda wapi yani prices zinakuwa like this naomba utazame vizuri sana market price inakuwa like this You see guys? So this is the kind of the market ambayo unatakiwa ukae nayo mbali. Haieleweki ni market ya namna gani. Tuko sawa sawa? Kwa hiyo hii ni market ambayo tunaita ni chopi. Ukifungua chati yako yote utaona kuna kitu kama hichi. Chopi market. Sawa so guys. Hii chopi market ni market ambayo unatakiwa ukae nayo mbali. Yaani maana yake hapa hauwezi kupata set ya namna yoyote. Kitakachofuatia utachoma. Out. Tutakuja kujua ma maana ya ya chopi market ina ina kazi gani inafanya ni kwa nini kuna kuwa na chopi market huko mbele lakini kwa hiyo unatakiwa u identify hivi vitu vitatu viwe very clear kabisa. Kwa sawa sawa guys. So tunaposema sasa what is support? tunakwenda sasa ku identify what is support sasa e, katika uptrend ukiona umesha identify uptrend yako ndio napanda e, support itakuwa ni hii hapa Guys, mwana, katika katika uptrend market guys niko very practical ninakuwa very practical kwa sababu nataka uweze ku identify so nitanitanda na kuelekeza katika lugha nyepesi kabisa ambayo ni very practical sasa katika uptrend support ni ile ni ile ambapo tunakwenda tunapanda juu 
lakini price inashindwa kupanda juu inashuka chini inatengeneza kama kitako kama base fulani hivi ikitengeneza base inafanya kama support kwa ya, jaribu kuitafsiri katika lugha nyepesi kwamba unapopata support ni kama kitako fulani hivi si ndio so ndio maana ya support kwa hiyo hii ni support ya kwanza hii ni support pia hii ni support katika uptrend So so far tumeweza ku identify uh, support. Hizi ni support. Sawa guys? And what is resistance? Resistance ni ni ile ambapo price inapanda juu lakini inafika sehemu inakuta kikomo, yani inakuta kipingamizi fulani ambacho kinaifanya ile price ishindwe kuendelea. Kwa kama kama tunavoona hapa kwamba price ilikuwa ina, ina, inapanda juu lakini imekuta kikwazo kikwazo fulani inashindwa kupanda hii tunaita ni resistance Ojaribu kutafsiri katika lugha kabisa ya ile lugha ya Kiingereza kabisa Kwa hiyo hii ni resistance hii ni resistance hii ni resistance Sindio guys. Sasa kama price imefika what do we expect from here? What do we expect from here? We also expect resistance also. We also expect resistance. And after resistance what do we expect? We also expect support. After support, what do we expect? To expect resist uh, to expect after support trend in endelea. So tuna tunapata trend resistance should na pata support tunapata so the trend goes like that. Sasa. Let's go to the to the downtrend downtrend also mwendo ni ule ule sasa kwenye downtrend inabadilika so there is maana kwa kuna kuna support 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 resistance 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 Kwa hiyo tunasema kwamba support is where a downtrend I mean uh, support is when the uptrend inapata 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 e downtrend ya hapa inapata resistance kwa sababu kuna demand kubwa ya kubai. Sawa sawa. Kwa pale ambapo price inapanda ikifika hii sehemu kuna tokea resistance kwamba inapokuwa tunapata uptrend like this maana yake ni kwamba ah uh, maana yake ni kwamba buyers ni wengi ni wengi kuliko sellers tuko sawa sawa guys tunapokuwa tunapokuwa tunapanda Buyers ni wengi kuliko sellers. Kwa hiyo ndio maana generally price yetu inapanda. Sasa inapofika sehemu ya resistance maana yake ni kwamba sellers wanakuwa by that time wanakuwa wengi kuliko kuliko buyers. Sasa guys. Sasa sellers wakiwa wengi maana yake wanafanikiwa kubadilisha movement ya price. Price say badala ya kupanda juu inashuka chini. Sasa price ikiwa inashuka chini kuna sehemu inafika inaitwa support. 
why support kwa sababu Bayern sasa wanarudi wanakuwa na nguvu zaidi kuliko sellers Asa Bayern wakirudi wakiwa wana, wana nguvu zaidi kuliko sellers maana yake wanafanikiwa kurudisha ile trend yetu ya kubai inafanya tena ina, ina, inakuwa buy then ikifika sehemu hii stage tena uh, sellers wanakuwa wengi zaidi kuliko buyers kwa hiyo sellers wana, wana, wanazidi kusell waki sell buyers na wao wanarudi tena wanakuwa ni wengi wana push the market up and down so hii trend itaendelea hivyo hivyo mpaka itakapofika stage ambapo sellers watakuwa wengi kuliko buyers so hiyo ndio maana ya kuwa na uptrend So let's go to the to the downtrend. Downtrend maana yake ni kwamba sellers maana yake sellers ni wengi sellers ni wengi kuliko buyers So sellers wakiwa wengi kuliko buyers market generally general 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 kabisa ya market inashuka chini It goes like this Then ikifika hii sehemu inapata resistance Ikiona iki, kuna resistance maana yake kuna buyers wengi sana wametokea hapa wamebuy. Kwa wanapobuy wanafanikiwa ku push the market kwenda kwenda juu. Sawa sawa guys? So, so wakifanikiwa ku push kwenda kwenda juu. Then buyers kwenda juu. Then itakapokwenda juu ikifika tena hapa sellers wanakuwa ni wengi zaidi. So wana push the market kwenda chini. Then sellers comes back wana push the market kwenda chini. Ikifika tena hapa buyers wanakuwa wengi wana push kwenda market kwenda juu. Lakini generally ni kwamba sellers ni wengi kuliko buyer ndio maana the, the price in general ina elekea kwenda chini. Tuko sawa sawa guys. So hiyo ni uh, hiyo ni downtrend. Let's go to the sideways. Sasa the sideways market tunaona kwamba uh, tunaona kwamba sideways market ni kwamba tunapata resistance hapa kwamba tunakuwa na tunakuwa na resistance here tunakuwa na support hapa So market ikishaingia kwenye ile tunasema hii ni sideways market au tunaita consolidation consolidation au market ukisikia market ina consolidate hii ndio maana yake market ina consolidate sasa ni kwamba E, unakuta price kila ikitaka kuvunja labda inakuwa at price labda tuseme 1.5454 ah uh, hivyo kwa ma market kila ikifika katika price fulani labda ya 1.4352 inashindwa ku break that price each time ikija ikagonga hiyo 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 price maana yake ni kwamba inashindwa kufika hapo 
na na support ni kwamba kila price ikijaribu kufika katika laba price maybe 1.56 uh, to kwa ba price inashindwa ku inashindwa ku, ku eh ku, kuvunja hiyo price si ndio inashindwa kuvunja hiyo price kwa hiyo 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 tunaita ni eh ni support lakini ina ina consolidate sasa kwa nini tunajifunza support and resistance katika uh, general overview ambayo tumepitia ni kwa sababu katika eneo la support na resistance ndio eneo ambapo tunaweza tukaona tukapata entries tukapata entry point na tukapata na exit point kwa hiyo mtu anapokuambia kwamba tunaomba tukupe mtu anakupa entries au anasema buy au anasema sell ni kwa sababu ameweza kugundua au kutambua support na resistance ilipo kwa hiyo unapokuwa kuna market na zigizaga nyingi lakini unamwona mtu kan ka buy au ka sell unashindwa kuelewa kwamba huyu mtu amekuwaje ka buy au ka sell ni kwa sababu ameweza ku identify sasa let's go back to the uptrend kuona kwamba mtu una buy wapi na ku sell wapi so this is uptrend kwa hiyo where to buy ukisha gundua trend yao kama ni buy we always tuna tuna buy katika support on these areas kama ni up trend subiria mpaka u identify support ndio una buy so we buy we always buy on these areas so sawa guys katika uptrend buy at support make sure you buy at support we buy at support you buy at support you buy at support asa ndio maana tunaambiwa kwamba moja ya sifa kubwa ya kuwa eh, ya kwa profitable trader ni kuwa na passion yani kuwa mvumilivu yani usirukie entry maana yake ni kwamba kuwa mvumilivu maana yake ni kwamba wewe umegundua hii ni uptrend unakuta price iko eneo hili unakuta price iko hapa katikati hapa wewe unaangania ku buy price iko hapa wewe una buy ukibuy unapata profit kidogo unasubiria ukija afta baada ya masaa mawili unakuta uko uh, stop loss inipigwa au umechoma account kwa sababu umeshindwa kwa mvumilivu kusubiria price ipande ishuke ije kwenye support ndio buy so ndio maana tunasema kuwa patient patient ndio kitu kama hichi au unakuta ni uptrend umeona kabisa kwamba kuna kuna resistance kuna support ipo kwenye resistance wewe unasema ah hii price ita, itaendelea juu kwa wewe unaamua kubai here. Ukibai hapa unakuta price imeshuka chini, imechoma account au imehit ime stop loss, then baadaye uh, price imeendelea. Unasema ah, ni kwa najua, lakini ni kwamba ulishinda kuwa mvumilivu. Au unaweza uka hold negative sana lakini eh, ulishinda kuwa mvumilivu kusubiria eh, support. Sasa, hii ni uptrend. Kama ni uptrend na una uwezo wa ku, ku buy maana pia una uwezo wa kusell kwenye uptrend kwa sababu unaweza ku identify higher, higher highs and higher lows. Kwa unaweza uh, ukasubiria market ikafika hapa. Hii ni uptrend. Lakini wewe ukaona inch ya kusell. Of course, uka sell. Uka sell, ukapata profit zako chache, uka book profit, then uka buy again. Lakini siku zote inakuwa advised kwamba hakikisha una sell kwenye downtrend hakikisha una buy on uptrend Usi, usiende against the trend kwamba kama hii ni uptrend hakikisha wewe unatafuta inti za kubai tu mpaka pale utakapokuwa very professional 
uh, kuweza kujua ku play with the market structure uh, the same applied kwenye downtrend downtrend pia uh, tunasema tuna tuna sell sorry guys tuna sell here at the peak Tuna sell here. So this is how to sell when don't. So not worry about selling. Tafika stage ya kujifunza zaidi jinsi ya kuchukua entries, sababu za kufanya hapo ka sell na nina nini. Tutaenda huko. Hii nakupa tu picha kwamba kwa nini tunajifunza support and resistance. So support and resistance ina tusababishia sisi kujua entry points na exit point exit point manake ni kwamba upo kwenye profit je unajuaje kwamba ni book ni chukue profit yangu au niendelee ku hold utajua ku hold au kuchukua profit yako kwa kutambua support and end resistance sasa twende kwenye sideways market sideways market ukisha gundua movement like this you can trade pia uh, wewe price ikifika katika ile resistance uta sell here you be selling here uta sell but also uta buy at support to buy to buy at support so you buy you sell market you buy you book profit you sell you book profit you buy you book profit or you sell so hii ndio namna ya ku play na support and resistance so far nadhani mtakuwa mmeona sasa umuhimu wa uh, umuhimu wa kutambua support and and uh, support and and resistance so katika briefing hiyo na tu kulikuwa na dakika chache uh, kama utakuwa na maswali twende sasa kuangalia the the real charts eh, kama mna MT4 zenu unaweza mkafungua pia so let's uh, tutumie ku hii ni USD CHF so, sasa guys sasa guys eh so, Naomba mtu yote anijibu katika kufungua hii USD CHF1 hour chart tunaona kitu gani tunaona uptrend downtrend au sideways movement uptrend hiyo itakuwa uptrend hiyo in uptrend yes kwa sababu watu we see ni kwamba price inapanda juu si ndio yeah. yes yeah very clear kwamba hii ni uptrend so tunatakiwa utakapofungua tu chart yako guys na kuwa very practical ili muwe profitable traders ukifungua tu chart yako ndani ya sekunde 15 15:15 usipoelewa movement na hiyo price basi achana na hiyo pair so kwa sawa sawa ukifungua mm. chart yako within 15 seconds macho yako yasipojua ni downtrend uptrend au sideways market achana na hiyo pair fungua pair nyingine so kama tulipo discuss kwamba in uptrend kwenye powerpoint yetu tunao kwamba uptrend ina sifa hizi si ndio <coughs> support mm. and resistance so twende kwenye chart yetu to identify support and resistance let's start from here so guys so uh very good. let's start from here ili we rais asa tujue kwamba eh, kwenye powerpoint nime nimetumia nime clear structure inaonekana ni kitu kirahisi sana lakini sasa kwenye kidogo kwenye kwenye price kidogo ina inaweza ikawachanganya lakini i hope mtane kwamba uh, price haiko ha, haipo kama kama rula inayuba yuba but 
So guys, nadhani hapa tunaweza tuka tukatambua support, si ndio? So guys, hii ni support, si ndio? Mm. Hii ni support. Hii ni support, si ndio? Mm. Hii ni support, umeona eh? Ndio. Support. Hii ni support, si ndio? Mm. Yaani katika down katika uptrend yoyote ncha yoyote ambayo ambayo inagonga chini. Tunaita ni support. Sawa? So, let's go and identify resistance. Here is resistance. Sawa so guys, tuko sawa sawa. So, when I talk to Tampua, they may be able to analyze it. What's our saga? Cohesion to support and resistance. So, Mona. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't Ah. Okay. Boss, I think you are just lucky to have to ask Jal. No problem. Ah, okay. In support and support and resistance, katika uptrend. So, what we do ni kwamba, ukisha identify uptrend. Unachukua kufanya wewe ni kutafuta buy into. So where are we going to buy? Tuna buy maeneo higher. This tuna buy areas kama is. So guys, so we always been looking for the buy entries on these areas. Okay, trend day kutambua the downtrend. Downtrend, ta kuenda kutambua kwenye eh, ipea. Guys, in the Euro USD, mna tambua nini ya? Downtrend. This downtrend. Kwa nini mwana downtrend kwa sababu even macho tuenye clear na onyesha? Sales, indio? Okay. Yeah. Nice. So, bala ya kutambua eh, eh, Kwa hapa tayo kutambua kujua support
Hizi ni support. Hizi za juu ni resistance, si ndio? Sasa tunakwenda kwenye Euro USD. Euro USD tena tunakwenda kutambua eh, So haiwezi kuwa very clear. Kwa hiyo unatakiwa uwe kila siku unafanya mazoezi kufanya utambuzi. So sio lazima ukomae katika sio lazima ukomae kwenye price ya huku mwanzo. Unaweza kuamua kurudi nyuma huku kabisa. Ukafanya ukafanya utambuzi wa support and resistance. So Tunaweza tukaja hapa tuka tukatakuwa ya hivi kuangalia zile sehemu kubwa kubwa tu kwanza. Sasa so, so guys. Okay guys so katika katika euro usd tunaweza kuona uh, eh kutambua support so tunakwenda kuwa tuna sell on 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 this area see there guys Guys, tuko sasa. Tuko pamoja, tuko pamoja. So. Sasa, hapo tumeona katika katika downfall. So, twende tuangalie uh, nadhani somo la support and resistance guys ni ref kidogo ni sio ref sana lakini nadhani tunataka nikahitaji kama vipindi viwili hivi lakini leo tuna program then we get back in when it keeps so tukipata muda tutaendelea tuchanganywe zaidi kwa hiyo tunaweza kutambua eh, support and resistance tumeweza kujua aina tatu za trend kuna uptrend kuna downtrend na kuna sideways. So nataka nionyeshe kitu kingine cha mwisho kwa sababu nadhani tushafikisha risali moja alafu tutaendelea kesho. Sawa so, guys. Sawa. So, Tumalizie kitu kimoja kinaitwa sawa. So tumeshaona uptrend tumeona downtrend uh, sasa tuangalie chopi market guys hapa mnaona nini ah uh, yote yameanza kajibu sorry side market ni nini So guys anyway hii ipo kama trending market fulani ni uptrend market tumeona eh the price is going up lakini technically the price imekuwa very choppy si ndio eh 
yani price haieleweki yani yani iko yani tunashindwa kupata clear higher highs and higher lows ndio guys ndio ndio kiongozi tunakupata yes ma things like this kwa hiyo hii ni chupi market kwa hiyo ni market ambayo ukifungua chart ukaona kitu kama hichi maana yake ni heri ipe uka ukaachana nayo sawa always look on things like this very clear thing sasa uh, so tuangalie mfano mwingine in 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 USD APY mnaona nini hapa guys up trend very good this is up to oil price inapanda na tunaona tunaona clear very clear higher higher lows nitaka zile kubwa kubwa kwanza zile lakini pia tunapata clear uh, pia tunaona clear uh, higher high highs uh, connect to camera so guys so tunaona kwamba hizi ni support hizi ni resistance sasa <coughs> uh, kitu kimoja cha kunote hapa guys ambao sasa hivi somo tutaendelea kesho sasa tuwe tupate clear kwa sababu tume sasa hivi tumefanya utambuzi kwa, kwa, kwa kutumia macho ya kawaida sasa lazima tutumie analysis kabisa ambao leo tutachora mistari kesho kwa hiyo eh, how can we identify support kwamba tujue kwamba support itakuwa wapi resist itakuwa wapi eh hiyo tutajifunza kesho kwa hiyo naomba kwa muda huu mpaka kesho ama saa 24 kila mtu ajaribu tu kufungua chat zake pairs mbalimbali aweze kutambua na kuidentify trend na kuanza kuidentify trend lakini pia kuweza kuchora support kuzungushia cycles support and resistance lakini pia tujue kwamba katika chart zetu tukumbuke kwamba katika chart zetu guys tuna time frames mbalimbali si ndio tuna mimi nimechukua kuna kuna 5 minutes kuna 15 minutes kuna 1 hour 4 hour weekly na monthly si ndio guys support and resistance zinapatikana katika kila time frame hiyo time frame yoyote ambayo utachagua kwa ajili ya kwa kwa identify support and resistance utaweza kuona support and resistance time frame yoyote ile so yule tu mwenda kuchagua time frame yako lakini tumia zaidi one hour and four hour time frame kwa sababu ndio time frame zinazo kufanya wewe kugundua trend either ni up trend au ni down trend tumia zaidi one hour na four hour usitumie 15 minutes wala 5 minutes tumia zaidi one hour four hour na kuendelea lakini for the time being uh, tumia one hour na four hour ku identify usiwe selective kwenye pair wakati muda wa kwa katika kujifunza. Anzia pair ya juu ni kushauri. Anzia pair ya juu moja moja mpaka pair ya mwisho kabisa ku identify. Uh, Usipata unaweza uka uka, uka analyze chat yako, ukaipiga picha, ukashare katika group then tukaendelea kufanya corrections. So guys, nadhani kwa leo tuishie hapo. Kesho tutajifunza sasa jinsi ya kuchora support and resistance kwa kutumia kwa kutumia uh, uh, horizontal line na vertical line hizi line zitanaitwa 29 
29. Itasaidia zaidi kuwa precise na kujua when where na expect price yetu iende ika hit where tujue kwamba price itafanya uh, pullback and things like that. So guys asante uh, kwa kunisikiliza. Imekuwa very fast ni crash program lakini ni Malay Foundation. Sasa kesho tutakuwa tuko stage nzuri. So kila mtu ataweza kujua tuko sikia. So guys, natakiwa siku mwema. See you tomorrow. Okay, asante na kwa pia kiongozi. Ah, kama kuna swali lolote. Okay. Thank you. Kuna swali lolote maybe? <coughs> Okay bas kama hakuna guys see you Jerole tumkumbusha tumkumbusha jamaa Jerole tu eh lazima alipe Nimesha alipo yote yale Sidala sawa ni tena